Good morning, hot dogs, and welcome back to the hot dog news. Two more weeks till we're out of here, dogs. We have more dodgeball tournament information, uh, CSF family night, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For lunch today, lines one and two will be soft shell taco, and three and four will be barbecue sandwich. A happy birthday goes out to Alan Garcia and Mariko Halflet. Happy birthday. For, uh, the, for dodgeball news, Today, the Gumpies lost to Flower Power, and 5Ds has lost to the Packers. The winners will be moving up, but there are some slight adjustments in the schedule, and the championship game will take place next Thursday in Case Arena, due to a bit of testing. If you are a former art student at Mr. Clark's and either hasn't picked up or forgotten to pick up any of your artwork, it is recommended that you do so, as the end of the year, all your unpicked up artwork will be thrown away. CFSF Family Night is tomorrow night, so be there, as there will be cookies showing off and showing off your art skills. If you want to sign up or have any questions, you can look in the chat for more information. Now we'll send it off to Nelson and Elijah with a, the daily forecast. Good morning, dogs. There will be a football call-out meeting after school today in Coach Byers' room. This is open to anyone interested in playing football next season. We will be going over summer weights and practice schedules. Make sure you're there. Last night, the boys baseball team traveled to Weibo, securing another conference dub, winning 19-4. This makes the baseball team 7-3 in conference and 13-7 and overall. The dogs are back in action tomorrow here at home against Weibo for game two. The game starts at 6 p.m. Also last night, the softball team traveled to Weibo. The Lady Dogs fell to the Stars, losing 0-4. The dogs are back in action here at home tomorrow against Weibo for game two. The game starts at 5.30. The Lady Dogs tennis team were defeated in their match at Crawfordsville High School last night, 1-4. The girls are back in action here at home facing LCC tomorrow. Matches start at 5.30. That's all for Sports Dogs. Matt at Eli. Thanks, Nelson. The weather coming in day, it was 71 degrees, which was low. So that says how hot it will be today. It's supposed to be cloudy most of the day, with the high being all the way up to 88, with that being at 5 o'clock tonight. So I'd wear short sleeves unless you want to be dying of sweat. Tomorrow, same thing, another hot day. But that's all for weather. Back to Pedro, who quit McDonald's. Bridging the Gap is a medical interpreting certification course, which normally costs $750. They are offering the scholarships to the FHS 2022 graduates to take the course for free. The course will be from May 30th, June 3rd, from 9 to 4.30 p.m. Applications are due on Wednesday, May 25th. If you, have, if you want to sign up or if you have any questions, you can find a link in the chatter. Strides for Stacy is this Saturday. We are raising money and going for the 5K route participating in the color run or walk. The cost to register is $20 and it includes a t-shirt. We are wanting to see a lot of the students to join the fun as like last year. Remember, if you have any questions, talk to the NHS student or look in the chatter. Seniors, do you want to send off your graduation with a bang? Bockwitz? and custom classes t-shirt are available. Pre-order using your QR code in the chatter. Speaking of graduation, yearbooks are still available to, in the bookstore. The cost to purchase a yearbook is currently $40, and this year is based off of the playlist of the year. That will be all for today's announcements. You know the usual by now, dogs, so make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more like this. Neat.